Hi, my name is Brent Atwater. I'm the animal medium, and boy, we stayed up all last night with a friend of mine who recently lost their pet and didn't know what to say to her children. Well, let me tell you what to say. And this has worked with the folks that I've used it on. Children are very receptive to things about imaginary and on the other side because their minds have not yet been limited or questioned by adults. So what you normally can say to a child, and I've had this work, so you might try it, is that Fluffy left his fursuit here on earth and I've heard the child said to me, well, why in the fat water did he lose his fursuit? Why did he leave it here? And I said, well, it's because he's too heavy to walk around the clouds in that fursuit, you know? is too heavy for him, so he had to leave it here so he could go run and play in the clouds with everybody in heaven. And he, then they immediately understand, especially if you got a big dog, okay? So tell them that he left the fursuit here on earth so he could go be in heaven and be lighter and play in the crowds, clouds. And the next thing you want to say is, and he'll be back to visit any time. Have you seen him yet? And you will be surprised. Knock your socks off. Drop you back OMG, when they say, oh yeah, he was here visiting me yesterday, or he's sitting right over there now playing with the cat, or you ask, where's Fluffy? Oh, he's over there in his bed. He came to sleep with me last night. Because children don't have that closed mind and that closed concept about communicating, connecting, and seeing the other sides. As I was growing up, I know I drove my mother crazy, I always talked about my imaginary friends. Yeah, well, we know where that led, but... They're not imaginary, they're real spirits. And so if you encourage your child to say, well, where's Fluffy? What's he doing on the other side? How's he visiting? What's he have to say? They will inherently connect with them and communicate with them. And if you don't talk about it, they'll shut you out and you'll miss a wonderful world of connection and your child's intuitiveness and their receptivity to the spontaneity of all things that are. And that way it also allows you to encourage, subliminally encourage, that they bring you everything that they talk about and see on the other side because they may have a gift to connect and communicate with the side. And all children do, they say, up until about age six, seven, and eight. And that's when they start shutting it down because they don't want to talk to people about it. But if you don't shut it down, you're keeping open a really wonderful world for your child to experience. So again, in my experience, I suggest that you say to them, well, yesterday Fluffy left because he wasn't feeling good and was sick, you know that, and so he left his fursuit here, and we're going to bury it or cremate it or however you want to say that part, and explain that he left the fursuit because it was too heavy to play in heaven with everybody else, and that he's going to be back to visit any time, and you'd like to know when he comes to visit because sometimes you'll be so busy you'll miss it and have your children on alert for watching and waiting for Fluffy to visit. And I guarantee you, they'll come around and say, Oh, Mom, Fluffy's here. He's playing with... Look, he's over there in his bed. <gasps> Look at him. He's over there messing with the cat. That works. And that way, they have a better concept of death, and they understand that death is just about transition. And if you want to say to them, well, and they say, Well, how can he visit? And you say, Well... When he leaves his heavy suit here on earth, he transitions because he's still alive in your heart and he transitions to heaven. And if you want to talk to him, you'll hear all your answers in your heart because that's where he is. And like I said, I've used that on multiple children and it works because you explain that now his heart is in your heart and it's the loudspeaker of your conversation. And if they say, well, is he always with me? And you say, sure. He's got a front row seat sitting up there on the clouds watching what you're doing every day. If you want him to do it with you, say, come on, Fluffy, come do it with me. And if you want to ask him anything, ask him. If you want to talk to him, talk to him. But the most important thing is do not let them shut down. You want them to talk to Fluffy. Interact with Fluffy. Ask him questions. What's heaven like? And then listen with your heart. Because then you're really teaching them skills to deal with transition and eternal life and passing that truly is nothing but transition.
and eternal life. And that way they'll always have a larger grasp of what's going on rather than a shutdown, rainbow bridge, he's dead, and oh, by the way, you've got to be dead, to join him. You'll say, let's go to the playground and come on, somebody bring Fluffy. So that's what's important. The fursuit's too heavy to play in heaven. They got a front row seat to watch you and talk to you and visit with you, sitting in clouds. And most of the time, they're going to be with you anyway. So use the loudspeaker in your heart, which is a straightforward beep, beep, beats connector. That's your headphone. Your heart is your headphone to hear them talk. And that way, you'll be really, 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 really surprised at how interactive your children will be with Fluffy on the other side. And maybe they'll even open your eyes to a whole new world that you hadn't thought about before or haven't encouraged or only imagined. You know, children can be windows to the soul and mirrors for a lot of things that are that we sometimes don't want to look at. So, I hope this helps today. I thank you for listening. Join us. If you have a question, go to my website, www.brentoutwater.com. Send in your question. Don't make it personal because I do readings for personal questions. And then join our Facebook group. We have lots of discussions over there. and We can help you heal. And if you personally want to learn how to connect with Fluffy, I have a book, After Death Signs. It teaches you all sorts of things where you can touch, feel, see. And even if you want to get that book, you can teach your children to do that because that would be quite a great gift to go forward in life with. Thanks for listening. Subscribe. Stay tuned. we got lots coming up, and I look forward to seeing you. Bye-bye-bye.